China is seriously ramping up their space exploration program. Scientists from the region are building the world's biggest radio telescope in the world. It's crazy. It's going to be more effective than any other, Margaret, in picking up those small signals that might be coming from intelligent life. It's called FAST, 500 meter aperture spherical telescope, 200 meter longer in diameter okay. than the biggest one that exists today. This is great. We're going to be able, scientists will be able, to tap into raw data. They're trying to get this ready by next year. They're working really fast, and this is a great advancement for science. I mean, chi the, chi the Chinese now have a space program? Who knew? Like, this is this is new, popping it is. up. It's like, it's crazy to hear this. It's just, it's fascinating at the same time. They need to find somebody uh, to help them with PR. The outfits, the, it, it's, you know, they you know, need like to sort the, of, you know. Like the, the, you know. the, the kids. <laughs> I don't know. They, like you mentioned, the program is brand new, but they doing, they're moving at a pace that, it, unlike any other country, they already have one man mission to space. They are launching their own space station before 2020 and their they want ISS. to do their own ISS, the CSS in this case, <laughs> and also they are trying to put people on the moon one more time, all on their own. They're really pushing for this. Now this telescope is going to be great because so far the only telescope that kind of does the same work is in Puerto Rico and it's smaller. Now China is very, very excited because they won't be able to go, they, they won't have to go and ask for the data to other telescopes. They will have their own, the, the biggest and the most powerful in the world. For them to start seeing if we can find these signals, radio signals, although some will say that that's kind of obsolete. Mm -hmm. The new research says, I don't think the intelligent life that lives millions of light years away from us are still in that phase of radio emitting waves. I think they are at a different level, but still, this is all we got right now, and we've been able to discover planets and pulsars with this technology, so I still think that it's very useful for our space exploration, and China wants to get ahead of it. Do we know why they're doing this now? Like, they picked an interesting time to suddenly, um, you know, do a space race. Why in 2015 as opposed to, you know, well, I when everyone else was doing it? This is a unique timing, I'm, I'm suspect. I think China is always trying to, you know, put their name at the top of the list in everything okay. all around the world. I think this is another statement that China is very wealthy and it uh, has a lot of infrastructure and they are willing to do the investment in their own country unlike other countries that have that same money and they're not investing like that in science. Eventually, we'll see that they will be the leading voice in this type of research only because they have the strongest... I think so. I think so. I mean, this is the most powerful instrument that we have for space exploration. We will have it, it will be ready in a year, and it will be a luxury for any scientist that is into radio astronomy for them to be able to use it. So I think just the fact that they're doing it, it might be a, a signaling of, of, of regional power, but also I think it's a good step for the science and the, and the research into space. Well, what do you think of the the issue that, okay, so the U.S. has been hitching rides with Russia yep. to go to the ISS from Gagarinsky Strait in Kazakhstan for some time now. Do you think we'll start hitching rides with the Chinese too, or just, just Russia? I think we are going to start hitching rides with Elon Musk and SpaceX. Okay. And I think because NASA is already very clear that moving forward, not too long ago, ago I was reporting on how they just came forward with their plan to go in to Mars, and part of it is the acceptance that it's only with the work of private investors and right. private companies that we will be able to accomplish this. For So it's very clear that the U.S. is taking kind of a different route, not so official and not, you know, not government-based, but mm -hmm. including the private industry to take us farther away to the boundaries of, of what we accomplish. But China, I think they say, well, we can take this you know, on our own. We don't need the help of millionaire investors that want to go to Mars, but let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section, and if you haven't, please subscribe to the Lib TV.